Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Santa Ticha Studios. Today, we're going to make a no-knead bread in the Dutch oven. A pretty simple recipe. It takes three ingredients. Uh, let it sit out on the counter for a few hours. Let the dough form. Uh, get it in the Dutch oven and let it cook. Let's get to it. All right, so we're all set. We basically have three ingredients. We have a sifted flour. Uh, this is an AP flour, but you could use a bread flour. Uh, AP is all I had. Uh, we use a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of yeast. This is actually a Red Star active dry yeast that we'll be using today. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I have my three cups of flour. Teaspoon of salt. I usually like to get that mixed in a little bit. Oops. Go ahead and add my yeast in. Just kind of mix it around a little bit. This is a cup and a half of water. Um, it's as hot as I can get it out of the tap. It measured at uh, the temperature was actually 121 degrees, so we'll go ahead and get it mixed in. That's basically all there is to it. Just get it mixed up, and we'll cover it with a towel, and then let it sit for at least two to three hours. Uh, it should come up, get a little bit. It's not going to really double so much in size. Um, when we cook it, when we bake the bread in uh, the Dutch ovens, that really kind of steams the bread. It's kind of like a steam oven that they use at the bakeries. So it will help it rise up some. Let's kind of pull it together a little bit. Actually, I think it could use a little bit more water. Add about a tablespoon or so in there. That's a little bit better. All right, that's basically it. We're just gonna cover it up with a towel. Uh, let it sit. I really don't need this for about six hours before I need to put it on this afternoon. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Get it on. Cover it up. Next time you see it, we'll get it ready to go in the oven. All right, and we are back. Uh, it's been about five hours since I made the dough. Uh, we are going to cook it in this Dutch oven, Lodge Dutch oven. We're going to preheat it with the oven. As soon as we get the bread ready you can see oh yeah look we've got that nice going on I'm gonna add a little bit of extra flour to the top just to help us pull it out of the bowl flour a surface I'm not gonna really knead it we're just gonna roll it so we can kind of pull it right out of the bowl Just going to kind of roll it a little bit, trying to get it into a ball. That's it. All we have to do now is go ahead and get it preheated, and then we'll put that right into the Dutch oven. So let's go get the oven started. We'll set it to 450 degrees. We're gonna cook for about 30 minutes. So we talked about before, going into the Dutch oven kind of creates steam. So it's almost like steaming the dough. Let's go get it done and we'll be right back. All right, the oven is up to temperature. The dough is ready to go. So on the parchment paper to go right in the Dutch oven. Let's get it up here. 
need to be real careful with the Dutch oven because it is an extremely hot. All we're gonna do is lift up the dough, put it right down in the bottom. Put the lid right back on it. I'm gonna put it back into the oven for 30 minutes. Let it steam, cook. Take a look at it at 30 minutes. We'll pull the parchment out, put the loaf back in, and let it go for about another 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how crunchy we want the top. All right, it's been 30 minutes. Get, take a look at the bread. It's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and pull the parchment out. We'll go ahead and put it in for another 10, 15 minutes. See how it looks after it's been in there without the parchment. And come back and slice it up and have a taste. All right, we've got it all done. Let's take a look real quick. Beautiful loaf of bread. Nice and crunchy. We'll get it out of there, get it on the cloth. Hot. Beautiful, all the way around. Let it cool off for a little bit and then we'll come back and slice it. All right, let's take a look at the bread, see how good it came out. Definitely crunchy. Smells very good. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. If you've enjoyed watching our videos, don't forget to select like. And if you want to see the next video that we have come up, click subscribe. Thank you all for watching.